So today we got great news for everyone. Blackmagic released the 4.0 firmware beta for everyone. So the 4K model and the 4.6K model. Um, I've had the firmware for quite a while, but I had to keep it on the down low because I couldn't tell anybody what was going on. But being on shoots recently, um, the firmware is, is so much better, so much easier. Um, the fact that you can show the client like the look of the LUT or the grade that you, you have in mind straight through the, the monitor is good. They could either be like, that's disgusting or keep it neutral. Um, so you, you guys are right on the money throughout your shoot. Um, coming from the RED system, as people know, I used to shoot RED. <coughs> I would say it's very much like that setup. So everything's touch screen and touch and drag. Okay, yeah, so you got your ISO, jump to the ISO settings. You got your white balance, customize it here or just choose the presets here. You can also tint right here. Um, you got your iris, open it up, close it down or auto exposure, depending on how you want to use it. You got your shutter angle and it gives you recommended shutter for the frame rate that you're in. Um, now frame rates, this is what I love, it's so much easier than the slow-mo options that we had before. Now the slow-mo options are listed slightly different, so when you go into the menu, it's listed as off-speed recording. So for me to be quick, especially on shoots, I always make sure off-speed recording is on. 1080p, you can go with the window sensor all the way up to, you know, 120 frames. Um, now without window, you got 60 frames, so that's 4K or, or 1080, however you want to do it. But the beauty about it is now, without jumping in here, when you choose your frame rate, you can just turn it off and on there. So bam, you're just 25 frames per second, and then you're like, I wanna quickly shoot 60 frames per second, done. Whereas before, you had to jump in the menu, and it was just quite frustrating. So that's really, really cool. Um, now, say if you shoot in 1080, and you wanna jump in to 120 frames per second, then you just make sure that's on all the time. And then that way, when you jump, out of it, so 25 frames a second, as you can see, because we're cropped in. Um, when you jump into it, boom, you go all the way up to 120 frames. With the 4.6K model before, when you shot, if you wanted to shoot 4.6K, you had to shoot raw. So now you can shoot 4.6K ProRes. So here's all your options. Like I said, 4.6K ProRes now, which is amazing. 3K anamorphic, and you got your monitor. So this will display the LUT in the monitor. Front, uh, front SDI is the EVF, I think, so you want to turn that on as well, um, or just have a clean feed, uh, turn the lot off, uh, zebra settings, all that stuff, frame guides, um, audio, nice and simple as before. Okay, so besides the menu settings, which is in here, nice and simple to set up, your recording settings, your viewing, your monitor.